It's Evelina Demore here and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought seeing we are approaching Halloween, I've made my jack-o'-lantern here, he's my little friend today. Um, I thought I would show you how I make my fake blood for my artworks. If you're not familiar with uh, my art, I uh, specialize in vampire art. I'm slightly obsessed. Uh, <laughs> I, I've done other kind of occulty, gothy based artwork, but primarily a lot of my artwork is vampiric in nature. Um, and a lot of my fans have asked me how I actually create my delicious fake blood. So I thought I would show you today so you could um, try it as well. Um, it's not by far, like, I'm not claiming that it's like the best, you know, way to do it. It's just um, the way I do it and I find that it works for me really well. So hopefully it will for you too. Um, so the first thing I use is uh, golden syrup. I know a lot of people suggest to use honey. Um, I just prefer the taste of golden syrup. Really, the texture is exactly the same. Um, so, you know, just get whatever <laughs> is at your local grocery store and just go to town with this shit. That is your main ingredient there, so don't be stingy on that. Um, obviously, you're going to need some red food dye. I was thinking to name this video a all-natural kind of um, fake blood, but then I realized that this is not really natural. Um, but I did a bit of research and they said that you could use pomegranate juice and um, beetroot juice. I'm thinking like that's more kind of purpley based and it would probably dilute a little bit more but um yeah if you're not um, keen on using the red food dye you could give that a go um let me know if it works so i'm just gonna put a fucking shitload that's really <laughs> way too much whoops a lot of that in because you want it to be really red okay the next thing is um icing sugar I um, once used <laughs> normal sugar, it did not work, it, ne <laughs> it needs to be icing sugar, nice and fine, um, and it will just kind of dissolve into the little concoction we've got going here. Yeah, this is not very neat. I'm just like, I'm not going to measure this out for you. If, <laughs> if you guys have been following me on Facebook for the last five years, you know, I am not really talented um, with cooking. So like measuring is yeah, math as well. I just fucking suck at math. So just, just put enough in until it kind of coagulates. That's the look that we're going for. Um, if you just stuck with that, it would be too red. It just looks too, <laughs> too vibrant. Um, so to darken it up a little, I use Activite. I have no idea if this is available, if it's an Australian product. It does say pure Aussie goodness, so <laughs> that answers that question. Um, I, this is my favorite like milk drink, so I don't, I don't know what you guys could use as a substitute. Probably Milo, which is readily available. But a more sensible um, substitute would be cocoa powder. This just occurred to me. Um, because the next thing I was about to say is the Activite is obviously um, a little crunchy so you just gotta kind of mush it up a little bit until <laughs> it dissolves and it will. Um, sometimes I use a sieve as well and just kind of mush it around but yeah it seriously just occurred to me yesterday that what I'm doing is converting it into cocoa powder so <laughs> idiot could have just done that for five years. But I don't know if you can see, this is turning a really nice color now. But without the Activite or the Cocoa or Milo, whatever you're going to use, um, it's just way too vibrant red. It's more like the red you'll get if you buy the really cheap fake blood. It just, it's not realistic at all. Um, you just want to keep stirring this. Yeah, those lumps are not going away, so you might want to actually um, drip it through a sieve and get rid of all the little crunchy bits and that's looking actually too runny so if you get that um, just add some more icing sugar into it <laughs> oh, there's no need to be neat is there okay yeah that's looking good yeah mmm I could eat this shit all day <laughs> it's not very nutritious who fucking cares about nutrition right yeah. Alright, so that's really thickening up. And if you just keep like doing that same step of adding the icing sugar in, you'll eventually get um, a consistency that will not drip. Um, you don't want it to drip that much, so I'm just going to add a bit more in again. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. That's looking good. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys on myself how this looks. 
And if you use my recipe for any Halloween fun, uh, please send me a photo. I'd love to see your work. So I like to put um, the blood in a little syringe. This is just a, a standard syringe that I picked up at a drugstore, nothing fancy. Um, I used to put it on with a spoon, but it just wasn't precise enough. And I just kind of got blobs of blood over um, the models. And you know, with red food dye, you kind of only get one chance with that. So I like to position it um, exactly where I want it to fall. Um, so I'm just gonna put it on, so use this as a bit of a mirror. Mm. Now just eat it. Delicious. I've never done this on myself, so. Well, that looks quite cool. And you can see, oh, you just eat it. It's, so, it's actually so yummy and it looks really cool. If you're taking like shots and snarling and stuff. When I uh, get another drip down there. When it goes into the teeth, I like that. I wanted to put my fangs on, but I couldn't find them. I'm currently moving houses and yeah, it's hard to find anything right now. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy Halloween. See you next time. So my makeup today was actually inspired by a tutorial that I watched of a lovely girl called Vessel of Blood. Um, she's got some really cool videos. I'm really digging her and she's inspired me to buy a whole bunch of wigs because she just makes them look so awesome. So expect to see me with some crazy new looks um, in the near future. Um, I will link the video below as well if you're keen to see her video because um, I, I like makeup, I'm, I'm not great at it, I think I'm okay, but I still need a lot of help and I found her um, tutorial very, very helpful. So if you'd like to know how I got this look, <laughs> I will post her video because <laughs> I'm not fucking telling you how I did it. I struggled quite a bit, but I always fuck up with the liquid eyeliner. That shit is too difficult. Uh, yeah, they need to make a like stick on fake eyeliner. That would be really, really cool. <laughs> so I've got some exciting new jewelry that I want to share with you. This right here is my new favorite pendant. It's by a company called The Pumpkin Coven. And the owner is just so lovely. She's really, really, really nice. Um, so check them out if you don't know them already. And this ring here, how cool is that? Closer. Where are you? There you are. Oh, focus. Focus. Come on. Anyway, it's a massive silver bat, pretty cool. It was really cheap as well. This is by Worship13, so check them out if you don't know their stuff as well. Fill the jack o' lantern full of petrol. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, cool. <laughs> Demonic. Color is the flower. Purple. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Do you want to give it to your brother? Oh, that's nice. You get a new bag of No? No. Uh, yeah, you like to see you. Mm -hmm. You like to see you. <laughs>